Hey there, welcome to Farmcraft. I'm John. Here I've got a bunch of range brass. Like three kilos, 25 grams. So I'm going to take a little bit off. There. Three kilograms. Now I just need a mold to pour it in. Now I'll just pour the molten brass in there and I'll have some nice round stock. I'm pretty sure that white stuff in the bottom of the crucible is zinc oxide that has condensed as it cooled. It's toxic when vaporized, but safe otherwise. So first I want to get all this sand and junk off of it, and I'll use the wire wheel for that. And just like the last time I melted brass, it has an interesting texture on the top. So this is kind of interesting. I've got the thinnest, the middle, and the thickest one. And if you look on top, you can see how much it shrunk. That was flat when I poured it, and then as it cooled, it shrunk in. So it shrunk a little bit, shrunk a medium amount, and then shrunk the most. Uh, and that's what you have to think about when you're casting. When you have a big mass of metal like that, it's going to stay molten in the center, and then it's going to pull in uh, as it cools. The bottoms of these are a little bit rough. That one has some sand in it that I can't get out. So before I machine it, I'm going to actually cut these off. But first, let's weigh them and see how we did. All right, so we started out with three kilos. 2.6. So 400 grams dross and other stuff. Three hundred and twenty-five grams. So I lost seventy-five grams. I guess just burn up and went into the air. I have to say that is machining very nicely. Better than I expected.
So everywhere I read, they said you couldn't machine bullet brass. The type of brass that it is was not machinable, or not good for machining, I should say. And it is a little gummy. So I can see in a, in a mass production commercial environment, of course, you're not going to want to machine this stuff. You're going to want something that's a little easier to work with. But for me and for a hobbyist, I, I, this is awesome. I'm shocked how good it is. I mean, there's very few voids in there. That's a nice, usable piece of brass. I can do stuff with that. That's awesome. I think I'm going to take it and see if I can buff half of it into a shine. Mm -hmm. 